What? Come on. In your bedding. Hey! Shh. Hey! Come on. Come on. This cow is a complete annoyance. Too friendly. They're all doing a bit of coughing because we just run them through the crush. Come on. Shh. Hey! Get in there. Go on. Shh. Go on. So we just picked five of these out to go off to the abattoir this morning. So Phil's just about to take them. Uh, he's all loaded up. I'll just run the rest back in here and I'll bed them up for him. Tractor's on, ferry in duty today. And then, there are five very nice fat bullocks. I better stick his brakes in for him. Stick your brakes on. Yeah, exactly, stick those in now, it got some weight in. You might just want to take them off the other end when you come back. Yeah, sure, they really snap, do they? Yeah. Can feet only in the tractor, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot my slippers this morning. <laughs> He's look, messing with my radio. He'll be gone for about an hour or so, and then uh, when he's back, we'll hang the mowers on the tractor and we'll go mowing. Right, guys, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. Um, as you've seen, we just loaded up some cattle and sent Phil on his way with those. Uh, normally, he would come over here to Rowden and do the feeding up uh, first thing every morning, um, but because um, he does the feeding of the cattle, he quite likes to take them. Normally, John would take them, um, but he's on holiday. Right for some minute. <clears throat> so I'm going to do the feeding up here. Well, I haven't got to do any feeding. I've only got to push in the feed and uh, bed up. So do that. And then there's some cows over there. I need to go and check. I've got three fences to move. Go and check some heifers. And uh, that's, that's Phil's morning routine. So um, we'll fire up little boots there that's on the wagon. Just interesting looking at these pits of silage we've done. They were level with the wall when we filled them with grass. And uh, they've all sunk. Parking there and the camera won't like it, but see up the wall how much it's sunk. It sunk a good foot there, probably two foot at the back, all the way up the side there. So, need to fire up this one, fire up the Fergie, and we'll get going. Got my nice boundary blade with the little buttons. So we'll uh, fold him. Give him a go. Might be a bad idea to leave the uh, camera on the bail. They're incredibly tight strings. I'm still not convinced by this serrated bit on the knife here. Um, I just, I just think it'd be better if it was all one clean piece of uh, sharp knife. I don't know what you guys think of the boundary blade. If anyone's got one, let me know what you think. But um, they were looking for feedback, so at the moment that is my feedback. That I think possibly just having a whole normal knife blade instead of the serrated bit would be you know, possibly better. Hey, this is a cool look. I'm all done here at Rowden, so I'm going to head back now uh, to Northwick to the home farm. Got some jobs to do. I want to put the auto steer kit on the 130 um, if Craig's not already done it because you'll be tedding and if you've got it, you might as well use it. Um, I'm going to check another couple bunches of cattle as well for coffee and then we'll uh, crack on with getting the tractor ready to go mowing this afternoon. First mower's on, let's get this back one on, and then we'll be ready to go cutting some grass. Oh, 
Right, that should be all ready to go. Just need to lift her up, stick that chain on uh, to the spring, and we can go and knock some grass down. All right, we're mowing. Just taking my jumper off because it is warm in here. Um, there is a massive crop in this field I'm in. I'll show you in a minute. I've only got a couple more swipes to do and then I'm done. Uh, and I've got an issue with the screen, which is annoying me, the recording of the work we're doing. Um, Normally, things that are on the screen, they're not working, I can figure them out, but for whatever reason, this one I can't. So what's happening, you might ask? Well, usually when we're mowing, let's come to the end of the row here and lift the mower's up, um, and we record, you can see at the minute, I am still recording, even though the mowers are up in the air and we're not actually mowing anything see all the dark blue patches um, that's where it basically overlaps where I've driven for a second time and that's to do with what they call the recording trigger so the recording trigger at the minute is the front PTO it's usually the spool valve that feeds the front mower so that when that goes down into work that starts recording and when you lift that mower out of work it stops so it stops colouring in but for whatever reason, that didn't want to work. So the headland and the first couple of bits I did hasn't been recorded on the on the map there, um, which has annoyed me. I've tried changing it to the spool that does the back mower, but that doesn't want to seem to work either. So I don't quite know what's happened. Just do our last little swipe here. Oh, well, I'm going to finish this field. Go to the next one, turn it all off, turn it all on, see if it works. Okay, so normally on here, our trigger, which is this bit, is set to that spool. So I'm going to save that, and then I'll go to the next field, go and get through these cows. I'll turn it all off and turn it all back on again and see what happens. The spinners arrived then, Josh. Exactly that. Lunch. It's on. It's been there the whole time. It's found your face. It's been there the whole time. Oh. <coughs> Hello. 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 I hear How are we doing? I hear you're mowing. We are. Yeah. Eventually. Yeah. Eventually. You got it all working. Well. Sure. Let's see. We're we're just thinking, we're only playing today really, although we have got a lot to do, so I mustn't play for too long. No. I'm going in for my lunch now. Yeah, I'll leave you to it. Okey dokey. You've got, you got almost here now, you can mow and lunch at the same time. I know, but Mandy said, shall we um, take lunch down the field, and I said I won't be there that long. Uh, but actually, I think we wasted an hour fiddling. Fiddling. Alright, see you soon. Cheers. Bye. Bye bye. bye. Lady. Ah, oh, Craig's up and running. Can't see, I've got too much stuff on the windows, you can't see him. I need to pick up the mowers. There's Craig. Oh, he's got it set in the uh, headland over there. So he's kicking it into the field rather than fence. We're farming. What have we done here? Three hectares. It's a bit soft at the top here. We're going to get right round there. I got it, but it's so windy outside, isn't it? Look at the trees. Too windy for Joe. So just there, it's a little bit wet. There we I did sinking. I better tell Craig not to bother turning that part of the field. We've got the map working again. I did the old turn it on, turn it off. Seemed to do the trick. It's just 
nice and it's back on the spool valve. Uh, worm trigger. Abby just tried to kill me with an apple. Yeah. Told him my body's a temple and I nearly chunded up. Went down the wrong hole. Alright. I'm alright now. Plus I've had carrot and water. Like a big old feeding session here. So we rang Uncle Squeak to see how he was getting on mowing. Just bought a front mower for his tractor. <coughs> and he's also bought two new tractors. He's making too much money, I think. Yeah, he bought red ones, so we had to send him some red hats. He'd be uh, a bit upset if we sent him green ones. Great loving life. Proper heavy in the middle of this field here, we're struggling going up the hill. Last swipe! How satisfying. You do need to be We're going to be filming with four different things here. I will smear there, aren't we? There we have it. It's all our fun over. We'll drive down there and follow the skirt. There's the crew. That bit will grow well. coming. See you on Sunday. Oh, I might see you later. <laughs> Cheerio. 30. Chucking all the grass out. He'll tell you that's the best tractor on the farm. Here, beating the grass. Have a crop of stuff. It wants to do a bit of drying, which with this wind, you can probably hear all the wind. It will. Um, and this is herbal or legume mix grass, so there should be a lot of clover in it, which you can see. Um, you don't want it to dry out too much because you'll get leaf shatter on the clover, and you end up not having any of it in your silage. So turn it out now. It will be rowed up in the morning and uh, harvested pretty quickly behind. Right, so that's us done mowing, so uh, I think the plan is to go over Rowden and get the sheets up on the clamp ready. It was nice of Abby to come and join us for a bit. We got, um, got to see her and have some lunch. She's taking Gus home because he is absolutely no help putting up sheets, unbelievably. Right, let's go fold the lady up. Take the mowers off tomorrow and then they've got to go back on again to cut grass on Sunday. So. Great mower shuffle of 2022. This is the only problem with pug mowers is you suck all this in. Just keep blowing that out. You can get reversing fans, but they cost a lot of money um, if you have to retrofit them, which we would have to. Right, one rather important job after mowing is to clean out these grills on the front of the radiators. You just fill it with seed heads and dust. One there. Also a second view one there. So, uh, Get the airline and blow them out. Right, now believe it or not, we've actually got fertiliser turning up this afternoon as well. So I'm going to sort out the bay of nitrogen there at the end clean it up, move some stuff around so I can put all the new stuff that turns up at the back so that we use up the um, stuff we've already got first. Stock rotation, I believe they call that. It was currently down there in the Manitou. Hopefully you'll bring it up here now. And we'll stick the bag lifter on. We'll move those five bags of multi-cut just over here for the time being and all this other stuff. Stick the new nitrogen at the back and then put the multi-cut back in front of it so that we can use that before the nitrogen. I've just sent Phil off to get the pallet forks and we'll move that pallet of sugar beet back there. Um, it's a bit weird. Phil, for anyone that doesn't know, is my line manager. 
So I've sent him off to do a job, which is the opposite way around to what it should be, really. But he's going to do that. Hopefully he can still get at it after leaving that there. But um, we just need to move those five bags and then we'll fill the rest of that bay up until that post there with nitrogen and then stick that back front. We can put the sugar beet back in front as well then. Yeah, keep going, dead straight. Been a while since we've used this door. So this will take 20 minutes. After what felt like forever. I'm just going to stick that in front of that bit of cake we've got, we'll use that as two feet. Well, they call him some boy Phil. Oh, we have a lorry. something for like 10 minutes and then realize you never press record I don't mean either because all the fertilizers just turned up it's in slightly different bags than the uh, older stuff we got I'll just show you a minute up here it's got like a box around the branding nitram um, it's slightly different it's got all the same stuff on it so that's in a different place that one um, so that's from Billingham whether that's come from the other plant that's not currently Chucking any fertilizer out, I don't know. The driver said that they're making stuff at Billingham and then storing it in the other plant, which is a bit odd. You might as well just make it at both plants. I feel a bit sorry for him because he had a bit of a rubbish start to the day. He woke up to find that all his diesel had been nicked overnight out of his lorry. So I don't know what you do about that. He's a uh, bit of a kick in the nuts, isn't it? I'm going to move this back in front of the night tram there. Uh, I've got some bags there I can bag up on a wet day. Phil and Bruce have got the pit ready over Rowden for the silage tomorrow. so. I haven't got to go and put sheets up or anything. Craig's still tedding, but he must be nearly done by now. Um, so I'll put this away. I'll do some paperwork, some office work, and that'll take me to the end of the day. And then uh, we'll look forward to going silage in tomorrow. So hope everyone's enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, then do think about subscribing to the channel. It is completely free. Um, there is links to these new hats in the description, as well as links to all my other social medias. Um, you can see a bit more of what's going on here every day at Northwick. So thank you very much for watching and see you in another video very soon. Cheerio.